Hey guys, even here we have a couple of interesting news and updates from bodybuilders. And the first one, the most interesting one for me was that Flex Lewis is not gonna have to qualify for the Mr. Olympia. Of course, as many of us expected, he got a special invite, which he accepted. So we're gonna see Flex Lewis at the Mr. Olympia in the open category 2020. It's going to be very exciting to see him prep for the, for the Mr. Olympia. You know, he was always having trouble cutting the weight. He always had to trim down a lot of a lot of weight in the last minute, which not only meant that he came much smaller than he would be if he didn't do that, but also his body suffered uh, in terms of stress. When you put that kind of stress on your body, your body doesn't look the best that it can possibly look. He didn't just get more conditioned in those final couple of days, but he would lose a lot of fullness and he would lose on quality. And I believe that uh, he's going to flourish in the open, even though he's very short. He probably won't win the Mr. Olympia, but I think he can crack the top six probably at his first Mr. Olympia, which is amazing, of course, but do I see him beating guys like Brandon Curry, like William Bonac, like Dexter Jackson, like Rolly Winkler when he's even off? I don't see that happening, really. But you also need to consider that Sean Roden may come back, Phil Heath may come back, B. Graham is going to be around. These guys are just much bigger than him. I mean, Flex can get bigger, but he's, he's very short. He will never have the frame that some of these guys have. Bonek is somehow managing to be in the top, but he's not really on like Flex. He's just much bigger. You know what? Look, I'm gonna make a special video about this. I'm gonna compare Flex to all the top guys in the Mr. Olympia, and we're gonna see where will he place based on my opinions. And I believe right now, right off the bat, top six is probably the best case scenario, and probably what's actually gonna happen because this guy didn't win. Seven titles in the 212 Mr. Olympia by accident. He has a lot of quality. Of course, 212 is nothing compared to the Open, but still, still, those guys are very good, and um, Flex turned out to be the best in that bunch for seven years in a row. So that sends a message. Top six, in my opinion. But we're gonna get a little bit deeper into the details when I make a special video about this. And in that video, we're gonna compare him to guys like this. Flex versus Dex, for example, Dexter Jackson. And this is not just a random photo of Dexter Jackson, this is actually current photo. This is what he's looking like, four weeks out of Iron Classic. What can I say about this photo? I can say that he's big, he's really full, he looks really huge. I can say that he didn't lose any fullness, he looks probably fuller than ever, and conditioned, of course. I'm sure he's not gonna miss the mark when it comes to conditioning. Overall, he looks amazing. He really looks amazing. Based on this photo, top 3 is absolutely guaranteed for Dexter. Is there a chance of him winning the Arnold Classic? There is a big chance of him winning the Arnold Classic, if you ask me. The only two guys that Dexter won't beat at the Arnold Classic probably are William Bonac and Big Grammy. I think third place for Dexter, especially after seeing this photo, third place is guaranteed. Top 3 is guaranteed. If Big Grammy doesn't bring the conditioning, Dexter will beat him. If by some miracle William Bona comes off, which is probably not gonna happen, I mean, let's not, let's not uh, expect something crazy because it never really happened so far. William Bona is always on. If that ha somehow happens, he can even beat him. But that's not gonna happen probably. William Bona is just better bodybuilder than Dexter because he's much younger. Dexter has some weaknesses because of the age. So if nobody but Dexter brings the shape, Dexter will win the Arnold Classic. If everybody else brings the shape, Dexter is going to be top 3, that's for sure. That's how I see it. By the way, did you hear what Sean Ray, in his new interview, had to say about Dexter and about the top guys of today? Let me play a little insert from the video for you. Dexter, oh, Dexter in his prime couldn't make the top 6 of the Olympia, and I was there. Dexter, it was, uh, he was in the 99, 2000 and 2001 Olympia with me. He didn't beat me and he hates it when I remind him of that. I am going to make a special video about this, but as for now, what I can say is basically Sean Ray says that Dexter couldn't make the top six in his prime that he says was 1999 Mr. Olympia. 1999 Mr. Olympia was Dexter's Mr. Olympia debut. That was his first Mr. Olympia, and no, that wasn't his prime. It would be his prime if you just prefer smaller physics or something like that, but from 1999, to 2008, for example, when he won the Mr. Olympia, he gained so much muscle. And he gained even more later on. Right now, Dexter is huge. Dexter is much bigger than what he was 20 years ago. 
So I would understand that Sean Ray thinks that his prime was 1999 because he was very aesthetic back then. He had small waist and so on. Right now he has a little bit blown up waist and he doesn't have calves and his stomach looks like a mess and so on. But if you talk about modern bodybuilding standards, Dexter is much better today than what he was during the 90s. He was too small back then. That was not his prime. His prime was 2007, 2008, 2009, 2010, 11, if you ask me. Later on he got even bigger, but probably not better, but 1999 definitely wasn't that. I'm gonna make a separate video about this, but as for now I can say that Sean Ray didn't really say a lot of smart things in this interview. And I'm gonna make a separate video about it, so I'm gonna tell you what I think exactly. Let's go now with the next story. Alright, so the next story I wanted to mention is Calvin Mugger actually making a response video to all the things that happened uh, with his uh, new alleged child. And it's not alleged child anymore, it's officially his child that he's actually going to raise. As he says he wants to do that, he did a paternity test and uh, it's actually his child and he wants to raise it by himself without the woman. So that's what he said. I'm gonna play a little video for you so you can hear it. I just cut it out, the, the, the most important part. Found out that um, that someone was pregnant and uh, they'd have my baby. I did what any normal guy would do. And I requested a paternity test to make sure that it was in fact my child because I didn't know this, didn't know the mother very well at all. <laughs> Obviously not very well at all. Um, I got a kid and um, I'm looking forward to raising him. Without the mother, I don't want anything to do with her. So that's about it. It's as simple as that. Just, you know, Callum didn't want to go public with this. And there is nothing wrong that he did. He wants to raise the child. But that's pretty much it. Kenny K.O. wanted to expose him for something bad that he's done. Which is not really the truth. I mean, he just uh, exposed his private life. And that shouldn't have happened. So it is what it is right now. You guys know what is the truth. He's going to raise the child, he's going to try to get a full custody, and that's it. And lastly, we have Patrick Moore with another physique update. Not really a physique update, this photo, but we have a physique update as well. In this photo, you can see just his body fat percent at 4 weeks out. And he is shredded. He is bringing the conditioning. I'm making a special video about Iron Classic Prediction very soon. But as for now, what I can say is top 4. Top 4, I think that's the best case scenario for him. No way that he can beat... Dexter, Bonek or Big Ramy, but he can beat some of the other top guys if things play out the way he wants them. Is it possible for him to crack the top three to beat Dexter, Big Ramy and William Bonek? I really don't see that happening. Maybe, maybe if Big Ramy comes absolutely fat, absolutely bloated and watery, but even then it would be hard, but I don't think that's gonna happen. I'm having the feeling that Big Ramy is bringing the crispy condition this time around. Here is actually another photo of himself at around 4 weeks out and he's actually removing his tattoos. But basically you can see that he's in a really good shape at 4 weeks out, but you know, a little bit too small for the monsters such as Dexter, Rami or William Bonnick. So, I'm expecting him to crack the top 4 and that's gonna be a huge leap. Whatever you guys think about whatever from this video, tell me down below in the comment section. Like the video if you enjoyed it and please subscribe for more bodybuilding videos like this. All the best guys and bye bye.